Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today it is time once again for my end of season best trophy pushing deck list, where I give you guys all of the best decks in Clash Royale for your end of season trophy push, and I have five really good decks selected for you guys today to share with you. The first deck you can already see right here is a Royal Giant Ice Wizard NATO Control deck. Very, very strong deck. You have Dark Prince in there, absolute beast. NATO Ice Wizard, super defensive. Lightning Spell, very strong in the current meta. Then RG, no explanation needed, guys. A very solid win condition as well. Deck two over here will be the new meta Hog Trifecta Mortar Earthquake Cycle deck. One of the newest decks into the game right now, doing very, very well on ladder. And by far, I would say the best Hog Rider deck in Clash Royale right now. And honestly, just overall a really fun deck to use as well. Deck three over here is an interesting one. It is the old meta Pekka Ghost Bridge Spam deck. You may be wondering, why is this deck in here? It's old meta. Ghost is old news. Dark Prince is a new hotness. Well, surprisingly, this version here with the Ghost in there is the most popular Pekka deck right now on the leaderboard on ladder and also has the highest win percentage compared to things like the Dark Prince version. You may be wondering, why would you use Ghost over Dark Prince? right? Because Dark Prince is strong right now. Well, that one Elixir difference does make quite a bit of a difference when you're using this deck in a particular battle. So that is why right here, guys, this deck right now is on my top five list. Deck four over here will be Lava Clone. No explanation needed. This deck by far is one of the easiest and no skill decks in Clash Royale to use. It is very matchup dependent. Basically, if your opponent has no splash damage or not enough, you can easily steamroll them, but if they do, you lose. So basically, it just takes the skill out of the equation, and it's just entirely RNG matchup dependent. But it is a very, very uh, just good trophy deck right now. One of like the top, like top three. Every day I check these stats online, this one right here is always within top three of the most popular and best ladder decks right now, guys, in Clash Royale. Very, very strong deck. And then fifth and finally over here, we have ourselves a Golem beat down deck did a video on this deck recently it is a very strong option uh, and also a similarly easy deck to use like lava clone not quite as easy but that golem relatively is one of the easier win conditions to use which is why i recommend giving this deck a shot guys overall it is just a fun deck to use poison snowball goblin cage uh, cannon cards a beast so no more explanation needed but those are my top five decks for you guys today. We're gonna go ahead here and do one live ladder battle with each of these decks, starting out with the Royal Giant deck first. All right, guys, jumping in to battle number one with deck number one, which of course is the Royal Giant NATO Ice Wizard Control deck. This deck is a bit of a different version than the one I did a video on uh, at the beginning of the season, but that one had Goblin Cage. This one, I believe, has Dark Prince instead, which uh, this one right here is definitely the more popular of the two, but honestly, you can't go wrong either way. RG is just strong regardless. So, Van Boget. What you got, my friend? We've seen skeletons. Does that mean he has Expo Cycle or Hog Cycle? Hmm, Mega. Maybe it's a Ice Bow deck with the Valkyrie and the Nato and the Rock and the Ice Wizard. Oh, it's Golem. That's rough, boys. That is rough, dude. He says GG's. I'm not too sure why he says GG's yet, but I think we're just dead. I think that's what he means when he says GG's. I think he just means we're dead. Mr. Van Boguet, he's going to 3-crown us. RG gets some work done left lane, but he chose to ignore it and just go in for the... Oh, Sparkinator! Nasty, dude. How do we miss... B Barbarian, please? Really? Oh, that was the nubbiest barb of my life. How do we miss the, um, I mean, he's got our tower. How do we miss the Ice Wizard with a lightning spell? I'm pretty sure his toe was touching. There's no way. There's no way, dude. I'll Jack, go down, please. Nice. Thank you. So, Golem Sparky. Somebody watch the CWA. Okay, I see ya. Our Jesus right here. Super RG going down too late. Mega Minion is not going to tank for that thing. All right, RG's getting some work done. Get some damage done right there, boys. This time I will not miss everything with my uh, my, with my lightning spell there. Because that was unfortunate when that happened. 
Wait for it, boys. There is the uh, golem. Wait for it as well. He shoots. Now we land spell here. And now we don't miss. Now we don't miss, boys. Ice Spirit freezes. There we go. Now we don't miss the uh, Sparkinator there, so I'm okay with that. All right. Mike, there's the Sparky. Respectable choice, my dude. Lightning Spell here. And then we should be able to get um, a Dark Prince down here. Ice Spirit as well. Ice Wizard here. Wait for it. Dark Prince will be sacrificial. One of these, one of these. Dark Prince here, tanking. There we go, boys. Ice Wizard's dead. Dark Prince is doing this thing over there, taking care of the Sparky. Sparky goes down. Dark Prince tanking some more. This here. Mega Minion here. And we just sneak in one RG into the pocket there. Like here. Ice Spirit for a Sparky. Oh, he nails to the opposite lane. Disgusting, dude. Disgusting. Where's your Eljax, sir? Nice. Dark Prince, do your thing. That tower. What? How is that golem closer? You're right next to the tower. How is that golem closer? I don't even know anymore what real life is, guys. Somebody please tell me. Somebody tell me what real life is. How is that Sparky not dead? Are you kidding me? There we go. Now it's dead. I don't know how that golem was closer, guys, but that was some shenanigans right there, boys. You know this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we good, we good, we good. Mega's dead. I'm okay with that. This might actually be a draw here, boys. We'll kind of see how it goes. There's the golem. Get one more defense ready over here. That, uh, wait for it. Lightning spell here. Oh, we got the L-Jack with the, uh, Lightning spell there, guys. Nasty. Nasty in indeed. Now, I want to go... He just nadled, which means we're going to go RG here. Ice Bear as well for the Skeletons. Nice. RG, one more shot. Nice, baby. One more. Oh, Lightning spell for the win right here, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. GG's, man. Van Baguette. Well played. That was a bit of a um, longer battle. But uh, honestly, Sparky destroys RG... Uh, we could have gone a bit opposite lane, but I wanted to play it safe and, you know, if possible, hold on for the draw. But we did come up with a dub, which is uh, definitely preferable. Alrighty, guys, moving on to battle number two, which is the Hog Mortar deck. Uh, the newest addition into the meta out of all of these decks, I believe, with maybe the exception of that Golem deck that I shared. Um, but this one right here came about this season with the buff to the Valkyrie. Multi-tier has been strong since that change back in, I think, January. And uh, overall... Um, Valkyrie got that 0.2 tile range buff in the July balances, which has made her just an absolute beast uh, to be reckoned with this season, I guess. I'm going to go Defensive Mortar here for this Valkyrie. He's obviously got a nasty deck. Anything with Goblin Hut in there, guys, you already know is nasty. All right. That sucks. Expo... Expo uh, Goblin Hut, guys. Literally, how nasty can you get? <laughs> but we destroyed his Expo. We got some damage to his tower, but he's back to a Goblin Hut now. We do not have the Earthquake for that Goblin Hut. So, the reason that's unfortunate is now he'll be able to stack up Goblin Huts. Which is not what you want against any spawner deck. You do not want them stacking those spawners at all. We go Defensive Mortar here once again. Get our Musketeer ready for that Mega Knight. His, his deck, honestly, might be a good contender for my Dirtiest Deck uh, series in Clash Royale. So, uh, we'll kind of see how it goes, dude. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty nasty, though, to be honest. Wizard's dead? Oh, good. Thank you, thank you. So, if he goes Goblin Hunt, I suspect it'll be left lane this time. Yep. Because that way we can't stack our, ex our Earthquake damage. But this deck is going to be another longer battle, just like that previous one with the Royal Giant, because 
His deck is super defensive. Like, super... Like, look at this. Super defensive deck. We can't go Mortar there. Because he will, of course, just go... Uh, something for it. I want to get back to an Earthquake here. To Earthquake his Expo. We'll try to get the Mega Knight in there as well. Expo's going downtown. Nice. Lightning Spell here or Fireball would be useful as well for that wizard. This guy's deck is legitimately the definition of nasty. Valkyrie here. Destroys the wizard and the wizard. Nice. Told you guys. Expo was... Uh, I mean, Valkyrie was nasty. You guys heard it here first. She is official nasty. Musketeer was a waste though. That's unfortunate. So now I'm sad. All right. One more defensive mortar here, boys. Not too concerned about it just yet. That's the cycle. He's got Mega Knight in hand, which means I do not want to go Hog Rider just yet. Playing super defensive for now. Until he makes a mistake, is my plan at least. Ooh, the wizard going down left lane. Sir? What you got, my dude? One of these? Is here? You can go Mega Knight for the Musketeer in the right lane? Yep. Is here? Got Locks on, I'm gonna go Bats here. Skeleton's here. Then get our Valkyrie down for this Valkyrie Mega Knight combination to destroy this. The Valkyrie just tanks everything. Literally just everything. Nasty. Now. Defensive Mortar here. Do not want to go aggressive just yet. If he goes Expo, I'm gonna Earthquake it. You realize I can still hit that, buddy, right? I can still hit that, just in case you didn't know. Nice. My Earthquake damage has definitely been kind of like adding up here throughout this battle here. But I do not want to go Hog Rider just yet because he does have Mega Knight in hand. That is the major threat of the battle here is his Mega Knight versus my Hog Rider. Going one push into that Mega Knight can really suck. Double Earthquake value here. Get back to a, uh, what do you call it, ASAP? This here, this here, boom. Nice, boys. Nice, boys. Nice. Mortar here to tank for the Expo. Skateer here for its Expo as well. Should destroy that. Skeleton's here. Nice. Well, the Valkyrie is dead. Musketeer kind of is doing his thing on the right lane. Mega Knight going down. I'm going to go this here. Valkyrie here. Pull that thing over. Ignore the E-Wizard right now, because what I want to do is I want to get a aggressive push going on here. Valkyrie here. Skeleton's in front. Double all this. Nice. Mortar does lock on. Musketeer locks on as well. Valkyrie go down right here. Nice, baby. Bats for this. I do not think he's back to... Um... Alright, I'm okay with that. Wait for it. Earthquake here. Skeletons. Nice, boys. Nice, dude. Meanwhile, the left lane is taking some damage to the Goblin Hut, but the Valkyrie doing its work in the right lane. Getting some damage done. Bats to cycle here. One more Mortar right lane with a Goblin Hut for this. Skeletons in front. Come on, baby. You can do it. We need one more Mortar shot there. Or an Earthquake. We're going to go Hog Rider here. Aggressive. Can we get one Hog? She's going to Mega Knight for this. There we go. With the Hog finishes Tower off. There we go. Good game. Wow. Well played, dude. His deck was one of the most annoying decks in Clash Royale history. It was super defensive. But we still won. Man, that was uh, that was frustrating. It was, his deck was so defensive. Mega Knight, Goblin Hunt, Expo, double buildings, like Valkyrie, Wizard, E, Wizard, just like all defense. Uh, but we still made it happen, dude. All right, guys. Jumping in to deck three. Battle three. Pekka, Bridge Band. Like I said before, guys, this deck, uh, you might be wondering why it's on this list. Because obviously it's the old meta Bridge Band Pekka deck. Um, but surprisingly, the Pekka... Ghost deck is right now the most popular P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Band deck in Clash Royale on ladder and it has the highest win percentage as well out of all the P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Band decks that, uh, that I looked at. So uh, 
Interesting little poison there. Maybe a bit too aggressive. You might have Graveyard based off of the Ice Golem being in there as well. There's the Infernal Dragon. So I think it will probably be a Graveyard deck. Just based off of a few things here so far uh, in this battle. Yep, I was right. Who was he here? Come on. Nice, boys. Infernal Dragon's dead. Minions cleaning house. Ghost gets in there. Oh, no. Not the... Ice Golem, but I can go one Ghost Shot. Minions get in there, please, Minions. Oh, ho, ho, ho. when you go Bandit here, that probably will bait out a Valkyrie. Yep. And then we can probably just go, I'm thinking Battle Round to pull this Valkyrie to the right lane. Like this. Uh, and then he's probably going to go Furnace for that. Yep, which means we can poison this Furnace here. Actually, no, no need. Barb's getting some work done there, boys. Ghosty boy here. Minions boys here. Oh, so tempting to poison, but I don't want to fall for it. Especially because we just used our... Whatchamacallit? it? Our minions. So I don't want to do that just yet. Bandit here. This is a prime opportunity for him to go Valkyrie on defense in the middle of these two guys. Girls, whatever. I don't care. There we go, boys. Battle Ram right lane, please. Get it done. Get it done. Ghost here. Going all for the tower. All right. Actually, I ignore that and go poison here. Just because the Musketeer walks into that poison versus leaving it. If I went opposite lane there. Minions here. Pekka here. Get our E-Wizard ready for something. He's going to freeze that, isn't he? Yep. Now we just go zap here. Boom. Wait for it. E-Wizard here for the uh, Infernal Dragon. Should lock on. Nice. That's major niceness right there, boys. Come on, Infernal Dragon, die, please. Go, minions, go. Yes. Oh, Valkyrie here. He was doing Furnace. Eh, it's respectable. I give him, I give him props for that. It's respectable. But where's your Valkyrie, buddy? There it is. So we need one more Poison Zap to win. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting battle here, boys. Got this. Nice, dude. Poison here. Ah, uh, good game, broski. Oh, good game. That was fun. Wait, is it a good game? Yep, yeah, it is. Good game. Well played. So, I'm okay with that. Like, we just... Uh, <laughs> I got no words. It was just an easy battle overall. We had a pretty good matchup there. Alright, guys. Moving on over to deck number four over here. The Lava Clone deck. This deck uh, originally came about during the 21 CRL Challenge. Uh, and it was absolutely broken. Then they nerfed Clone Spell. Then this deck fell out of the meta, but recently has come back into the meta for some random reason. <laughs> it's weird how it fell out, but then came back, even though nothing changed in the deck overall. The gi Giant Snowball was nerfed, and it still uh, came back. So it's just interesting. It's a, overall a very uh, easier deck to use because it is very matchup dependent. So if you have matchup, you win. If you don't have matchup, you lose. Uh, it's just one of those decks that you don't really need skill for it either. You just it's it's whether or not you have matchup is how this deck works. So we'll destroy that lava hound there. Nice. And then we might even clone this. Hmm. Probably not a good idea though, eh? I'm gonna say so. So he does have the what do you call it? The log. I'm going to snowball this instead. Nice. Then I want to get a Lava Hound going on left lane. Into the weaker tower. If he goes Hogwarts to right lane, I'm going to go uh, Skarmy. Oh, but we can't. We can't, boys, because he's got Mini Pekka coming down. Where's your log, dude? That's here. That's tower, boys. That's tower. That is tower. The Ice Glow Mini Pekka push is too nasty for us to handle. So instead, we ignore it. And we go Flying Machine here. With potentially a clone spell. Right now. Nice. Please die. Some of this. Boom. There we go, boys. That lava hand's getting some work done, though, eh? Getting decent work done. I would have hoped for some more damage, to be honest, though. Huh? Actually, damage isn't bad after all. 
The Satyr at one health is super annoying. Okay. He's gonna go in for the kill though, eh? This guy's crazy. This guy's absolutely crazy, guys. You gonna die, please? Thank you. Lava Hound here, please. Come on, baby. Is he pre log? No pre log, which means Lava Hound does work left lane. Tower should go down here. Fly Machine does this. Snowball here. Boom. Nice. There we go, dudes. So now the score is even at one crown a piece. The question is which lane does he defend? Which lane does he push? This here, this here. This here? Nice, dude. Hog's dead, baby. Honestly, if I could get a Lava Hand in the pocket there, I probably would. But we're going to chill on that. Lava Hound here. He's going to go Hog Rider left lane, probably. Oh, right lane Hog Rider. Fly Machine here, please. That should kill the Hog Rider pretty nicely. Does he have a rocket in there? He might. Baby D here, please. Wait for it, dudes. Clone all this. Then we go Skarmy here. And then I think he just loses. Yeah, he just loses. This deck is so nasty. This deck is so nasty. Literally going from losing to just overwhelming, destroying him. Uh, wow, good game, bro. All right, guys, jumping in to the fifth and final battle over here. Gonna wish our dear friend Chris some good luck. This, of course, is the Golem Beatdown deck that I did a video on a couple days ago, so you might recognize it if you watch my videos regularly. But uh, overall, it's a really fun deck to use. has some very solid win rates right now, and uh, overall, it just it plays a bit different than traditional Golem, which is kind of why I enjoy it so much. So, I'm going to go Cannon Card here for this. And, oh, that, my friends, is a Mega Minion. Prince coming down here. Dark Prince for that Prince. Mega destroys his Mega. And then uh, we're going to get the Dark Prince on the Prince to do some work there. Does it counter it completely? I'm kind of hoping it do. Oh. Ooh, a Mini P.E.K.K.A. You wizard do your thing, please. Snowball here. That, my friends, is not a Snowball. So obviously it's a giant Prince deck as my guess. But he has giant double Prince and Mini P.E.K.K.A. Wow, that is absolutely filthy. Having that uh, mini picket in there as well, I can't answer this Dark Prince here. I need to save some Elixir. I actually could have snowballed it, but um, Executioner in there too makes me very interested to see what this guy has overall for a win condition. He's definitely throwing me off. Maybe it's like a Double Prince Executioner like graveyard deck or something. Honestly, no idea what to expect here. There we go. Executioner is dead. He's going to go... This guy's deck is certified nasty. Like he has P.E.K.K.A. Like mini P.E.K.K.A. Lumberjack. Prince. Dark Prince. Like legit. I am about to throw up right now, guys. Executioner NATO. Like it honestly just looks to me like he's got all the, all the nasty cards in one deck. If I had to guess, like what, like what has he got? Just all the nasty cards. That's a bit too aggressive right there, guys. I should be not focusing on controlling and more focusing on beatdowning. So my bad. Wow, his deck is literally the definition of disgusting right now. Golem, Executioner NATO, Mini P.E.K.K.A. Lumberjack, Double Prince. What in the world? Is this actually real life right now? I'm starting to think it isn't. I'm starting to think it isn't, guys, because this is this is just it's just too nasty to be real. I don't think it's actually real, guys. Nato. Can of card here. Here we go, boys. Snowball this. Boom. Nice, dude. There we go, dudes. I'm okay with that. I should defend that pretty nicely there. Golem had to bridge. He was here for support. He might be really low on electric because he kind of overcommitted there. This might be the push right here to win the game, guys. Look at this. Do we win the game right here? Going into the tower, full health. Oh, Jack. Oh, he misses the NATO. Chris. Oh, buddy. I'm so sorry, but not sorry. 
Look at this. Cannon card does work. Oh, that's juicy. Chris, your deck is disgusting. Wow. Good game, dude. Good game. Well played. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Here are the five decks one more time. If you want to go ahead and copy them, or there is deck links in the description as well if you are interested. So we have RG, Ice Wizard Control. We have Hog, Mortar, Valkyrie. We have Pekka, Bridgebam, Old Meta, but still doing very, very well right now. Then we have Lava Clone and then Golem Beatdown. Let me know which of these five decks you think is the absolute best down below. Or if you guys think you have a better trophy pushing deck this season make sure to share it as well i want to wish you all the best of luck on your end of season trophy push i really hope these decks help you out and if they did please feel free to let me know because it is the end of the video really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe to my clash world content thank you so much for watching we shall see you in the next one